Express FM. This is Express Brecky. It's 9.35. We've got music on the way from Foxes, James Blunt and Diana Ross. But before all that, uh, the nation's most romantic regions have now been revealed ahead of Valentine's Day. Research from Royal Mail reveals which areas of the UK are most likely to make their loved one feel loved this Valentine's Day. So to talk about this some more, I have Sarah Abel, relationship expert and writer, and Sharon Little from UK Greetings Card Associations. Morning, ladies. Welcome to the show. Good, Good morning. morning. Are you uh, are you ready for Valentine's Day? Most definitely. Oh. <laughs> I, bought, I bought my card. <laughs> is that it? A card? Is that it? A card, I think, is the most important it thing. Is, yeah. It absolutely is, and you men need to understand that. Oh, I see. <laughs> see you're attacking me already. You've only been on about 30 seconds. H- have you bought yours? Um, I don't need to. Oh. Mm-hmm. Have you made it? No, I haven't done no. anything. <laughs> I, I have no plans to send no, anyone are... anything. Oh. No, he's, he's just going to make me a cup of coffee instead, yeah. instead, of, instead of me making them every morning. <laughs> well, that's nice. Yeah, I reckon so. So uh, let's talk about these regions that are the most and least likely to mark Valentine's Day this year. Where does uh, the South Coast come into this? Uh, they come eighth. Out oh, of that's 12 great. regions. <laughs> right, okay. yeah, about, a little bit higher right. than London. <laughs> but 80%. It's still 80% of planning. Planning okay. on a card. Well, to be honest, we haven't got many card shops left. so <laughs> No, it's true. <laughs> we can't get any. And where's, the, uh, where's the most popular region then, in that case? East Anglia. Oh, really? Hmm. So what kind of cities are, uh, are going to be included in your East Anglia bracket? Oh, uh, I, who have we got in East Anglia? <laughs> Norwich, I'm guessing. We have got Norwich. They yeah. are doing quite well yeah, up in Norwich. Yeah, Norwich is brilliant. We're They're very romantic We like Norwich. Norwich. <laughs> Super. It, it's, it's a romantic place. Oh, is uh, it? Oh, yeah, I've been there. Uh, it, it wasn't very romantic. It I was going to say. It didn't do it for you. No, not really, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe it's not to do with the landscape. Maybe, it's, maybe it has a, a converse reaction. I suppose so. Yeah. It's a, it's a good way of looking at it. Hmm. Uh, so who spends the most and least money on their love? Well, I'm afraid the South East were quite far down on this oh, list again. We are rubbish, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> I, can, I can vouch for that <laughs> as well. Oh, t- but but it, I, oh. it, it, may be, it may be that, you know, I don't think the romance has to necessarily equate to the money spent, to be no. fair. To be fair. So apparently the average spend on gifts is £19.24. Really? Mm. But it just might be they're a bit wiser with how they spend their money and what I, they spend well, it on. I, I, uh, I was with someone a couple of years ago and I spent quite a lot. I spent, I think it was just over about 70 quid on a Valentine's present. Wow. wow. So what we're talking, we're talking theatre tickets, flowers and a meal. Did Lovely. it work? No. So it's not. Ah, okay. so it doesn't equate. We yeah. actually broke up before we went to go see the show. Oh That's no. awkward. I know. Well, appa- in, it, apparently in the Royal Mail survey, it does it does say that six percent of people are planning to split up with their partner. Oh wow! Before a theatre show. Yeah. Six <laughs> percent. I think the most interesting thing about this survey is um, that the majority of eighteen to twenty-four year olds, which was the lung- the youngest group surveyed are traditionalists at heart, and um, 82% of them um, would much prefer to receive a Valentine's Day message by card, um, more, which is more than the average, and only um, 4% of this generation would like to receive their message via social media. And we, you know, so I think, you know, cards actually, they're a tangible expression of somebody's mm. feelings for you, and it's something that you can keep and you can treasure afterwards. Well, it's and like what you said earlier, you can make them creative, can't you? Um, well, absolutely. You know, you don't. You can you can buy a card or you can make a card. You can make a card. And actually, cards are are sold in more types of retail outlet than any other product. So mm, I'm true. sorry, Phil. I really do not <laughs> agree with your assertion that there's nowhere to buy a card. I don't. <laughs> maybe, maybe, well, maybe it's just down south. Uh, there's a fantastic one at a very big, popular budget supermarket. Uh, a basics card. It's, it li- it yeah. literally says on the front. It's got the old school barcode and the blue and white branding, oh, yeah. and it's a, a basics Valentine's card. That for me. Humour for me, I find quite romantic. If somebody can make me laugh, then that's it. I'm a, I'm, I'm one. Well, yes, I think and that's, that's wonderful. And I'd say that's part of the secret is finding out yeah. what, what the other person would really like. Because some people would love humour. Some people like the cute thing. Some people want the sort of very serious, heartfelt message. So it's knowing what your other half would really appreciate. Yeah. You don't want to get it wrong and buy them a massive uh, bear holding a heart saying mm. I love you on it, do you? Not, if, <laughs> not if they would really hate that. Which, yeah. or, or as you mentioned earlier, use social media. Imagine getting like a Facebook status a or tweet. a tweet. <laughs> 
Oh, thanks for really using those 140 characters. Oh, oh huge public display of affection. You've really uh, no. opened up your heart there, Not haven't you? Not into PDAs at yeah. all. No, ha- no. Hashtag, will you go out with me? That sort of thing. <laughs> hashtag, no. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag, should have bought you flowers. Uh, going, going, yeah. back to, going back to some other research that's been carried out into greeting cards. Yes. Um, you know, it, uh, there was a scientific experiment that actually wired women up um, oh. to um, measure their brain waves. This is a little while ago, but it was the most fantastic experiment, and it and it proved scientifically that women react have this amazing emotional reaction when they receive a card, and they have virtually no emotional reaction when they receive the same message by text or by email or by social media. So there we go. So and it, it has is been about proven. It is about the reaction, <laughs> wow. though, isn't it? It is about the reaction. There we go. No text. Otherwise, you might be part of the 6%. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably the 1%. Uh, so, uh, Kate and William, Brad and Angelina and Posh and Bex have been voted the nation's romantic role models according to this survey. Why those people? Why not? I think, I think you <laughs> know. What, what, what are they doing that's so good? <laughs> well, we, you They're know. still together. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. there's, a lot, there's a lot to say for that, though, isn't there? I think there is. There is. I mean, not, not so much love. Kate and William, because obviously, you know... No, with celebrities royals. and enduring love, I think that's, you know, mm. that is quite... The two don't really go hand in hand, usually. So yeah. I think, um, especially Posh and Bex, you know, they've done, a, they've done a really good job to kind of stick it out and, you know, maybe they, I know they've had a lot of relationships counselling, but, you know, good, mm. good work, guys. They're yeah, still well going, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, But, you know, they are both pretty good-looking people, you know. Do you think they've, that helps? They, I think they've both got winners there, yeah. Right. He looks at her and thinks, I'm a lucky man. She looks at him and thinks, I'm a lucky woman. Jobs are good and really... Mm. <laughs> I wonder if they send cards. Hopefully they do. Oh, I'd like to think so. They're probably massive ones encrusted with C- diamonds. Can Beckham write a card? I don't know. <laughs> oh, the, 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 the jury's out there. Green is no, not no, his no, colour, no. is it, ladies? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing too much to talk now. <laughs> He's just wetted himself oh, on the seat. <laughs> anyway, uh, sadly we've run out of time, but it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, so where can people find out more information about this survey? Well, if anyone have got questions about Valentine's Day, I was just going to say, if you go to at Royal News on Twitter, we're going to have a Twitter Q&A later. Ooh, Has- hey, hashtag I'll Ask Sarah, four o'clock. So Ask your oh, questions. Sorry, what, what was the tri- Twitter address again? At Royal News. At uh, uh, Royal Mail News. At Royal Mail News. We'll be on there straight away. Cracking. So if you see something called At Express Brekkie, that's us. Sarah. Excellent. I look forward to your question. I'll, I've got about a thousand questions for you. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and your cards in the post as well. <laughs> I look forward to it. Handmade with, with crayons. Thank, <laughs> thanks, Phil. <laughs> Sarah and Sharon, thank you for your time this morning. And happy Valentine's Day. And you. Bye. Bye. See you thanks, girl. guys. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Uh, wasn't that great? Right, Foxes and James Blunt to play. Loving local business. 93.7 Express FM.